This is part three, section seven of our 2021 Vectorworks drafting tutorial. Uh, in this section, we'll work on inserting the backlight for each of our acting areas. Uh, let's keep in mind that backlight should be at roughly 60 degrees behind the acting area. And so our, for our backlight on this, we're going to be using medium flood source four PARs. So with my Vectorworks 3 tutorial folder open, I'm going to go up to the resource manager. And I'm going to be in Vectorworks libraries, objects, entertainment, lighting instruments, ETC source 4, and I'm going to select the file that is source 4 par. Here are all of the source 4 par symbols that are populated, and I want the medium flood, the MFL. So I'll double click on that to select it. Keep in mind again that that will automatically activate the lighting device insertion tool in your lighting tool set. And I'm going to zoom in here towards area A and grab the insertion point smart point of that. And then I'm gonna come up to the second electric. <clears throat> and I'm gonna click once uh, to insert the initial placement of uh, my fixture. And then I'm going to pull straight down with my mouse, and you'll see that that fixture inverted itself. And then I'll click again for its final placement. Since it's backlight, we always want the front of the light pointing at the area that it's going to be focused in. From here, uh, I'm going to duplicate backlight for the rest of the areas. So you could do this a variety of ways. Uh, you can be you can place them individually the way that we just did. Uh, you can duplicate and move them, or you can use it by doing a duplicate array. In my case, I'm just going to go ahead and duplicate them. until I've created backlight for all of my 12 areas. That's it for section seven in terms of inserting the backlight. So I'm going to fit to page and save my file. In the next section, we'll look at inserting a temp side light template wash.